All right, welcome back. And now we're moving to the activity part of the show today. Now, how often do you get a massage? Do you even know the benefits of getting a massage? Do you know that it affects your soul, your mind, and your entire body as well? Today, that's what we're taking a look at. And in the studios, I have the CEO, actually, of Reflex Aromatherapy, Ransford Afari. He's a celebrity massage therapist good to have you on the show Thank and he's you. already very much indulged in whatever he's doing here but <laughs> let's go over and speak to him how are you i'm doing good all right so tell me what's happening now what kind of massage is this okay so people get massages just because of stress okay and stress is always a challenge uh, either flight freeze or flight responses okay. so what people do when they want to get massages is just relaxation just relaxation yes okay. and then what massages also does is that just because of uh, the issues we sent to the hospitals being stress related, mm. chances are that if you got massages ahead of time, you probably might not even go to the hospital. Really? Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Uh, eight years. Eight years? Yes. Okay, I'm guessing that you were doing something before then? Yes, I was a film producer. Film producer? Yeah. So how did you find yourself in <laughs> this um, industry? Along the line, they convert our cinemas to ch churches and all that. So. Oh, <laughs> so you got into it because... The okay, my challenge was that uh, you couldn't sell DVDs at the time because uh, most of the distributors would say, Ejako Nimti, Enko, no, all those funny, funny actors that they, they wanted you to star. Okay. So I was the youngest filmmaker in 1997. I even have a, a movie here in okay. the TV3 libraries. Oh, the title nice. of the movie is Venom. Venom? Yes. Okay. Yes. But you gave that up because the industry didn't look promising. It's challenging because, I mean, as an independent filmmaker, you have cast and crew who always want their money on the go. Yeah. You know, and, and I mean, you don't, you didn't have at a point that. in time, I couldn't just keep promising people that the money will come and all that. So stuff. did you get into this by mistake? Were you always interested? Yeah, I'm very gifted with my with hands. With your hands. So okay. along the line, I traveled with an American Marine and okay. he got massages at home in Sierra Leone. So I, I practiced in Sierra Leone, and when I came, I converted my photography business into, into this. massage therapy. Yeah. Okay, I know there are different types. So what kind of massage is this? Okay, this is a uh, Swedish relaxation massage. Okay. And, and people are skeptical in getting massages just because of how nude they felt they would be. Yeah. But you could just get a back massage without necessarily doing lower extremities, like your butt, your, your, your inner legs. thigh, and your legs. And is yes. the back enough to, you know, affect the entire body? It is. Okay. It is because uh, just because of uh, work and uh, our domestic hustle, mostly uh, the spine is usually where the back pains are. Yeah. You know, the upper, the mid, and then the lower. Okay. So from cervical to cossack. Okay. So wherever the pain is, maybe if the clients came and they were vocal, they could tell you what their anxieties or their issues are, and then per your expertise, you just apply oil. Well, I've that heard that all your nerve endings are connected to. You you know, the sole of your feet. Yes, can you get a Okay, that's what reflexology. So yes. can you get a massage of your feet and that should, you know, resolve the problem in the entire Yes, body? but it's not the same as, you know, actually getting a back massage and then an added reflexology. Okay. See, the difference between the two is that health, people are healthy. Yeah. But they are all over the places with negative uh, ne uh, energies, right? All right. Yeah, so what we do is that massage, you know, promotes well-being. In as much as you are healthy, you exercise and you do many things, when you get massages, the benefits are enormous. So even if you yeah. exercise, you still need a massage? Yes, you, you still do. I mean, sports people or sports, sportsmen and women do, do get, get massages, massage. you know, so how oh. much more you... Can anybody at all give a massage or must you be trained? Okay, you have to be trained, but it's not rocket science, okay? okay. So my right palm, my left palm, the spine, you know, differentiates the back of... Okay. Uh, and so the right to the right, left to the right. Uh -huh. You push with and then with a little pressure you know oh, so with your palms exactly can you feel the pressure at some parts of the body you would rather feel knots knots, no, knots are like uh, blood tensions yeah so what you do is that per your uh, applying pressure you melt the knots in the body so when there is no circulation that is where you feel pain okay but then when there is blood flow mm then you're, you're good to go. So if I'm not a, a trained masseuse, um, can I damage someone's nerve endings? I, 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 I doubt. Uh, uh, it's not really, r uh, it's very rare that people could do massages for you and then put you in harm's way. What they shouldn't do is uh, the traditional way of stepping on your spine because s cracking oh. done by chiropractors 
are professionally uh, 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 you know, full okay. of also releasing stress. So if the person is not a chiropractor, they are not supposed to step on your spine at, at any point. There are people who let their kids do that for them. Is that wrong? I used to do that for my mom. <laughs> okay, and that's wrong? Yeah, it's wrong. You see, when, when there is a crack, definitely there is that release uh, of tension. So there is a good feeling yeah. the person that whose back was stepped gets. Yeah. You know, but it has to be done by a pro. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so parents out there, yeah. I'm guilty of this as well. You need to be careful. You need to stop your children from, you know, walking on your back. A lot of daddies do that. Step on my back. I, I feel very, you know, uh, I feel some pains here. Do this for me. And mm. sometimes it works, but uh, it could come with some difficulties as well. So just be careful. Now, aside the palms, what I've noticed from masseuse, um, they use their elbows for, um, for some, you know, Sometimes they sort of... Okay, okay. so there are various types of massages. Okay. Uh, okay, let me mention a few. Shai Stu, Ayurveda, Swedish Relaxation Massage, Lomi Lomi, and then Thai. Okay. People get Thai massages because they think that just because they are stressed, you need some bit of strength okay. to get the, that anxiety or tensions from their back. Uh. So they go to the Thai, and then the Thai people are much stronger, I can admit. And then they do massages and then they complain. Okay. What these people actually needed not, wasn't like deep tissue, but okay. firm. So firm is where you uh, actually put your exact forearm. Pressure. Okay. Not the bone part. Oh, not the bone. No, okay, not the okay, bone. okay. Yeah, and then go deeper. Okay. You know. And it doesn't leave blood clots? Because no. you know some people get massages and before you realize there are some maps on their back. Okay, some people have just lighter skins. So okay. ideally you might see some blood. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, All right. and what you want to achieve is blood flow. So definitely, if it doesn't really cause any discomfort, definitely the person will be just good. Mm. Yeah. There's one kind of massage that I love. When I'm washing my hair, they massage my scalp. Scalp, yeah. And it's so relaxing. Exactly. Sometimes I feel like after that, I don't even need to get a massage anymore. <laughs> yeah. Is it that effective? Very effective. I mean, we keep telling people that every part of your body can be massaged and they laugh. Okay. okay, so the scalp massage is more or less like this, yeah. but then it's done in, in a certain way. They are what we call trigger points. Okay. Where I can actually work on her forehead, mm. and then she, her migraines will never ever come back. You can treat migraines with massage? Yes, of course. What? You can treat migraine, even, even uh, sexual dis. Uh, uh, Wait, what? Premature ejaculations and everything. You can use massage. How do you do that? Okay, so it's just blood actually going through the loins that causes erection. Erection is, is never bone, right? Okay. Yeah, so when you have in increased blood f flow, So what do you happen. massage? <laughs> no, you massage the body. The organ or the... Okay, there is a pelvic area where you actually have to do it and then make sure that there are no prostate anxieties. Uh, and then the lumbar too is where people complain of waist pains. Okay. If okay. you have waist pains, definitely you wouldn't be able to trust enough to... Okay. 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 Yeah. So you. <laughs> okay. That's too much information. Your metal is here. He's smiling. Do you need any kind of massage, your metal? Can we do that for you? <laughs> anyway, what? <laughs> so AJ, <laughs> AJ, my producer. Um, you know the latter part of the conversation. I asked on your behalf, so please see him so he can sort you out. Okay. And now I see that you are also sort of needing. Yes, so okay. there are five different strokes when you do massages. That is why we keep telling people that every house should have a massage therapist. I okay. mean, mothers and fathers should just l put their boys to good use. Uh, it's very easy, like I told you. What I did earlier was just a florages, yeah. which is movement from the neck to the waist, right? Okay. So if you want to knead, it's also a part of, uh, it's one of the strokes. You can hack, which okay. is also yeah. one of the strokes. Yeah. Yeah. You can rub. You know, fissure rubs. Oh, just that? Uh, just that. And yeah. that's also... You cause a heat, a little heat, and then the heat also melts the... the so basically, melts. all you're doing is applying heat so that it can melt the blood to uh, flow? Uh, uh, exactly. 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 I see. But it's not always good to use uh, uh, warm water because it makes you sexually weak. Huh? <laughs> no, say that again? Both very icy cold water and then warm water you makes so you both extreme well. ends yeah it has to be just water it doesn't have to be too icy or too hot so but we we still get the hot stone massage yes yeah, so hot stone massage is just for the purpose of melting your knots yeah but that's yeah. also hot you're yes, saying but if you so, use so hot it is, it's substances no you see people really adapt to lifestyles and they think it's the best people drink ice water every day 
Meanwhile, they are really hurting themselves and they don't know, especially with the men. Mm. Too much ice will make you sexually weak. Too much ice makes you sexually weak. Exactly. I see. AJ, good morning. <laughs> One more time. Interesting. Anyway, <laughs> so um, for anybody who is interested, where can we find you? Okay, I'm on social media as uh, Ransford Afari. Google my name and my, my, my face will pop up. Reflex Aromatherapy is okay. my company's name. Massage by Ransford on Instagram. Okay. And my number is uh, 0241 488250. All right. Yes. Felix Oclu. Uh, Daniel, AJ, <laughs> so there's a special, there's a special massage for you, yeah. uh, where they <laughs> massage your groins to, you oh, know. Oh, that's prostate massage. Yeah, but you know, people are how actually, often should people get that? You know, they are making fun of the research that came out that they have to like ejaculate like 21 times in a month. Yeah, yeah but there is a prostate massage where you don't put yourself in the arms way to take teas or all or, or that, so... I think we we'll leave that topic because it's very broad. It's broad. Maybe and, we should and bring it's more you medical, back. So we we'll get practicals for that. Oh, that's more medical. Yeah, I wouldn't like to be the one to talk about it, yeah, but I know well, all about it. We should it, get so. some practicals for that as well. I think <laughs> that would be interesting. But how often should I get a massage? In okay. a month? In a month, ideally, you should get it like three times in a week. Three but times? yes, but because it comes at a cost. Yeah. That is why people wouldn't want to go and pay so much money okay. and do it. But that ideally, is why I try to show you the distinction between well-being and health. And health people okay. are healthy, but they have negative energies. Yeah. And this massage alone can even help you, you know, your chances of even getting, uh, you know, a baby. You know, there is what we call fertility or abdominal massages. So if I had 10 hair and I've worked on her abdominal or yeah. stomach, yeah. I was going to take all the anxieties in her spleen, her pancreas, her kidney, her livers, and everything. And all that could affect your chances of having Exa kids. Exactly. Exactly. You see, toxins are what actually cause us to be sick. Okay. The, the food we eat, the, the drinks we take, yeah. consumption, especially beer on a Friday, everybody's mm -hmm. drinking, mm -hmm. you know. But they don't actually exercise. They think that just sleeping is the enough. answer. Yeah. Sleeping is not enough. And even sitting for a longer hour, prolonged sitting at work, not getting up and exercising, they are all issues that cause back, back pain mm. or any kind of pain. Mm. You can have your, your quads your tire very tightened up, your glutes, which is your buttocks, very tightened up, mm. and all that. So massages actually releases everything that has to do with knots. Okay. And then if you are very anxious, okay, let's say people are actually getting uh, rejected when they go to this embassy because they, they are standing and they yeah, are shaking, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. All that, that anxiety is just because they, are, they have too much on their minds. On their minds. Okay. You, you just release anxiety with massages too as well. Wow. Yeah. I've learned quite a lot today and yeah. I hope you have as well. Get in touch with him and again follow him on social media at what reflex? Reflex Aromatherapy on Facebook. Okay. Massage by Ransford on Instagram. Interesting. All right. There's another aspect of the massage that we cannot talk about because it's too early. Uh, but if you go on his page, I guess you get all that information <laughs> as well. And so it's right, happening right here on the new day. And I wish I was the one on the bed because I need a massage badly. But don't worry, Joe Bessel is here. He'll massage me. So keep watching. We have an interaction. I knew you would all shout. <laughs>